Hello, day 27, and this is um, a song called The Hunting Song. I wrote this quite a long time ago, um, and since then, hunting has been banned, probably as a direct result of this song, um, but there are still murmurings amongst the present government about reintroducing it, so it's kind of semi-topical. Um, uh, in the first verse, it mentions Dido and Bendigo, they are hounds which are mentioned in a, an English hunting song. There goes Dido, there goes Bendigo, chasing little furry animals. Followed by the cream of English society, country squires and all their pals. And they're all dressed up in hunting pink, wearing silly hats. They're chasing otter, fox, and stag, and old age pensioners' cats. Let the liberal preach his sermon, we're just keeping down the vermin to preserve the countryside for everyone. It's not mass extermination, just good sound conservation, and then we killing animals, it's lots of fun. Now what these people fail to grasp, said the squire with a bright red face, is that gallant Renard, just as much as we enjoys the stimulation of a thrilling chase. He's a wily old devil and a worthy foe, and we rightly praise him for his nimble wits. And we never fail to say what a splendid chap he is, as the hounds tear him to bits. Let the liberal preach his sermon, we're just keeping down the vermin to preserve the countryside for everyone. It's not mass extermination, just good sun conservation, and then are we killing animals, is lots of fun. The farmer watched with resignation as the huntsman swift and fleet. Devastated hedgerows scattered all his sheep, swept like a tornado through a field of wheat. And as they view hallowed into the distance, he said after a thoughtful pause, I suppose I should be grateful, I'm sure you'd be surprised at the damage that a fox can cause. Let the liberal preach his sermon, we're just keeping down the vermin to preserve the countryside for everyone. It's not mass extermination, just good sound conservation, and then we killing animals is lots of fun. The villagers were touching forelocks at the annual peasant's ball, which the squire charitably held on polythene sheeting in the manor house hall. And as Mrs. Smith admired the hunting trophies, she screamed with shocked surprise at the stuffed and mounted head of Tiddles, her cat, gazing down at her with sightless eyes. Let the liberal preach his sermon, we're just keeping down the vermin to preserve the countryside for everyone. It's not mass extermination, just good sun conservation, and then we killing animals is lots of fun. Now I'm an open-minded chap, wouldn't likely give offence to anyone. But try as I am able, I find it very hard to understand why people slaughter animals for fun. But perhaps there is one argument in favour, it's a reason which just popped into my head. If these people weren't able to go hunting animals, I wonder what they'd do instead. Let the liberal preach his sermon, we're just keeping down the vermin to preserve the countryside for everyone. It's not mass extermination, just good sound conservation, and then we killing animals is lots of fun. Yes, killing animals is lots of fun. song.